Okay, 69 is a little bit tougher. We're supposed to find, again, the component form. And we're given magnitude and direction. To get the component form when you're given magnitude and direction, here is your formula. Magnitude of your vector times cosine of the angle will be your x value. Magnitude times sine of the angle will be your y value. So for number 69, my magnitude, they give us, they give us the magnitude is 7 halves. They give us the angle is 150. Okay, so what we're going to do is substitute those in. So it would be 7 halves, cosine 150, 7 halves, sine 150. Now, normally, you're not going to be given angles that work out so nice and neat, but these angles do. They are on our sheet. We know what the cosine of 150 is because it's on that sheet I gave you right at the beginning of the year. The cosine of 150 is negative square root of 3 over 2. The sine of 150 is 1 half. So if I take uh, and multiply 7 halves times negative square root of 3 over 2, I get 7, negative 7, square root of 3 over 4, and I get 7 over 4. So this would be your answer. This is now a vector that is 7 halves units long and has a direction angle of 150. A direction angle of 150, well that should put it right into this quadrant. Does this look like a vector? That would be in the second quadrant. Um, that would have about a 30 degree angle to the 180. Uh, I think it sure does.